Hi, I'm Oliver P and the P stands for Parade because there's a Book Week Parade happening here in the Battle of Book Week and I'm going to give you five reasons why you should read this book right now. Wow. The Battle of Book Week is the third title in the Yours Truly Alice Turi series and it's written by Kaden Joe Temple and it's illustrated by Georgia Draws a House. Now for those who don't know, Alice Turley is this girl who originally appeared in Jimmy Cook Discovers Third Grade. And so we have a spin-off here and I think the spin-off is quickly becoming better than the actual original title. Kind of like how Chairs is, is okay but Frasier was much better. Um, yeah, that's a reference for anyone who's over 35 years old. Yeah! so. This book is fantastic. In this edition here, um, Alice is a lobby monitor and Jimmy Cook also wants to be a lobby monitor as well but Alice does not want him to be a lobby monitor especially when book week is coming up and they're going to have a really cool author visit because Alice wants to do one of the perks of being a lobby monitor which is to actually um, take care of the author while they visit the school. But disaster happens and now Alice has no choice but to team up with Jimmy to win first prize at the Book Week Parade in their costumes in order to get the librarian back on their side. Grumpy Bear, yes! Are you really excited for Book Week? I am pumped for Book Week even though it's been delayed. I'm, I'm really excited. And who will you be dressed up as Grumpy Bear? I'll be dressed up as me! What do you mean? Well, I I appear in Tyrific and Tynamite, so I'm just going to be myself. Well, that's kind of lazy. Yeah, I know, but, but um, that's part of my character anyway. I'm pretty lazy. So I'm a big fan of Kate and Joe Temple. Um, their picture book, Bin Chicken, fantastic. I love that book. Kate Temple is actually one of the most funniest authors out there in Australia as we speak, and she's full of wit, she's full of snappy one-liners, and Joe, he just looks good. He, he's just there to look good. No, 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 Joe. Please don't bash me, man. Please don't bash me. Uh, no, Kate, Joe, and I, uh, it sounds like a, a Nova show now. Tune in to Kate, Joe, and Oliver on Nova. Yeah, no. Um, we were actually co-editors of Funny Bones, which is this fabulous collection of short stories, poems, comics, and more, um, which came out last year. And it helped War Child, a really worthwhile cause. Shameless plug. Reason number one is Alice and Jimmy being the best of frenemies. What do we mean by that? Well, they're friends, they just don't get along. I know, it doesn't make any sense, but trust me it does. They are the yin and yang, they bicker, they fight, they have arguments, they find each other so annoying, but sometimes they are forced to team up. And so this enduring friendship continues in book three. And can I just say, like, the zingers are still there. Like, they're opposites, right? Like, um, you know, Alice is very, you know, she wants a spotlight. She's got the, the glitter and the glam. And she wants to be the best lobby monitor there is in this book. And Jimmy, he's still exploring. He still wanted to be an explorer. But this time, he wants to go to space and travel to Mars and all that kind of cool stuff. So when these two get together, you know it's going to be chaos and mayhem. So... Yep, yeah, huge props to the friendship. Reason number two is the letter format. I mean, I'm going to show my age again, but pen pals. Remember pen pals? Does that mean being friends with pens? Because that sounds like a really good idea. Grubby bear, please don't do this. No, no, hang on. I'm going to show you my favourite pen. His name is Artline. Hello, Artline. Alice and Jimmy write letters to each other. Okay, old school. It reminds me of a really old book. It reminds me of a book uh, called Dear Mr. Sprouts by Edward Broom, which came out in the early 90s. And I love that book, you know. Um, they they are much more friendly, the, the two kids in that book. This here is a bit more like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta say, like, you know, the letter format is quite unique in this day of like screens and e-communication, all that kind of stuff. So. Um, huge props for keeping that letter creating format and just just letters just keeping that alive. 
Reason number three is the fact that you covered Book Week in a book. I mean, I wish I could steal this idea from you actually because um, it's so cool. It is so cool to actually have a story revolving around, honestly, the best week at, in, in the school calendar. Book Week. Love it. And you have things like an author visit coming to the school as well. And in this case, it is... Um, a little bit of a loose tribute to someone that you may know. Their names are Kitty and Noel Templestein. I wonder who they're based on. Hmm. So it's really cool to actually read about an author visit at a school because I do a whole lot of author visits. So I can relate to um, the disaster that is the author visit that happens in this book. And I'm not going to spoil it for you, but it is probably the most funniest um part of the book, mainly because I felt that, you know, I, I know how it sometimes feels to be an author visiting the school. So it's really nice to get that library monitor's perspective on things. Um, but yeah, the fact that we get to talk about book week parades, book week costumes, awards, all that kind of jazz, all happening in this book. So, you know, Ken Joe Temple, marvelous job in making book week such a forefront for this book and you can imagine librarians out there holding this book about book week during book week and just being all smiles so really cool reason number four we have to give a huge prop to georgia norton lodge been known as georgia draws a house now she's really cool right because um i mean look i mean look at that cover for example this is just this is just a poster in itself Love all these um, bright colours, they're quite stark, um, the stickers are a very nice touch, um, it's very snappy, it's very smiggle, yep, I said it, got the really cool pictures, uh, happy to go over here, that's, <laughs> that's uh, the poor, the poor cat, poor. Georgia really captures these um, kind of like kid created posters and just that sense of authenticity in how the kids would actually draw a poster or how they would actually draw their pictures at a school. I mean there are some outstanding pictures um, which really capture um, Jimmy's wild imagination in terms of his space travel and of course Alice being Alice wanting to be you know little miss perfect and all so really cool pictures and I love this look at this this looks like a sash of a book like you know you can almost touch it and it's actually not it's actually part of the papers reason number five is can we just think about the fact that this book and it's about book week yeah yeah but it's also a celebration of library monitors and the library at a school okay schools we need more school libraries we know that's true and i love the fact that it's kind of like an infomercial for libraries because it talks about non-fiction books, it talks about borrowing books, taking care of books. Um, you know, Alice is, is very um, studious in terms of uh, library notices and Jimmy has his overdue book and he denies it. And you know, it's the kind of thing that you could expect at a school. So um, I'm not going to spoil what happens to you um, later on, but I just love the fact that um, libraries are celebrated, library monitors are celebrated. I mean, I wrote a book called Ethan, he's a library monitor as well, so huge props to library monitors out there. And I think, honestly, I think that if kids who are library monitors at their school are going to get an extra kick out of this book in the same way that I got a kick out of reading about the author visit. And another thing is I like the running joke with the OMG. So OMG, um, you know, Alice comes up with all different types of um, abbreviations for OMG. Okay, let me actually read to you one of my favorite ones. Um, orangutan might graduate. That's one of my favorite OMGs. Growing Bear, have you got one? Yeah! Oliver Muddy Games! Oliver Muddy Games. That sounds terrible because I love games. I don't want mud on them. Okay, I've got one for you. Um, old Man Grumpy. Old Man Grumpy! That's, that, no, I'm not old, I'm quite young. Oh, and another, another, another thing, um, huge props to Miss Myrtle, the enduring school librarian who has to put up with a whole lot of shenanigans from Alice and Jimmy and other things as well. So she's really cool as well. So we need more teacher librarians. She's really cool.
Well, Tree Gum Gums, that is my hot take on the Battle of Book Week. I absolutely love this book. Five out of five, as always. I mean, you know, a book about Book Week, book about author visits. You know I'm down for that, for sure, for sure, for sure. Let me know in the comments if you like this book as well. Tell me your funniest part. Tell me your funniest picture uh, from this book. And let me know as well if you want me to review any other books as well, like, you know, YA... MG, Junior Fiction, Picture Book, all that kind of stuff. You know I'll be down for that for sure. So don't forget to like, sub and share if you care. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm Oliver P. I'm Grumpy Bear. Peace out. Woohoo.